In today's mobility training tip, we are working on shoulder stability, and this is a position I've covered before. I call them snow angels, snow angel arcs. We normally do them flat on the ground, but I'm doing it from this incline position for people who uh, maybe have some labrum, some rotator cuff issues, or any type of real kind of annoyance in the shoulders. Yeah, I'm kind of speaking to myself a little bit. I found actually doing this on an incline, especially in my first set or with all my sets for the day, actually helps to give me better engagement without maybe causing strain or um, activating too much traps. Because when we're doing some shoulder stability work into mobility, we want our traps to stay off. Those are good to protect our neck when we're in battle or trying to lift something really heavy and explosively. But we're looking to just kind of ground our shoulders and get them into the right place for a scapula to sit correctly. We need to avoid activating our traps and I find that doing this exercise in this fashion makes that a lot easier. So depending on the bench you have, I find this kind of like weird kind of power stance helps. Some benches you could sit and be comfortable, but the main thing is you just want to be at an incline instead of flat with the ground. Going to lift thumbs up first, five, ten seconds, belly breath, shoulders away from ear. Not here, that's a shrug, down and away, thumbs up, lifting, pushing forehead into this, okay? Relaxing neck, move to a Y. T, back 45 degrees, palms up by your hips, then when you're ready we put all that together and we do the arcs, slow and controlled. I like to do three to five of those at a time. So five to ten seconds each of those positions and then three to five full arcs in a set. Perform anywhere between two to five sets of that series, okay? And the reason why I don't like just doing like a bunch of these, is one, you do a bunch of reps, you're gonna get sloppy. For two, I want slow controlled because we're working our joint through its full range of motion. So when you're working a joint in that fashion, slow and controlled is going to speak more to the nervous system and allow you to actually store and use that range of motion. That is the essence of mobility training. So again, we know the isometrics, the eyes, wise T's, and then the other two. Hey guys, if you're taking great value from this video, could you please go below and like, maybe even comment if you have a question, and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And also, if you want help conquering pain and performing better, schedule a free 10 minute call with me and we'll chat and help get you a game plan. Now back to the video. But one more time here. And maybe you can have a partner touch your traps here. See, mine are activating more than I would like. You can have a partner maybe touch your traps to give you that feedback on if they're too tight or not, okay? So that's something you can do. And so guys, that's this exercise. I would tie that in in your warm up to activate, especially if you're going to grapple or in, in any type of weightlifting. It's a good way to just facilitate actually core engagement as well as working on your shoulder range of motion. Okay, and also it's a good cool down, but again, it does require a lot of nervous system activation. So you may not cool down so much. You'll feel your body get tense, which is good for sport, but on the cool down side, maybe not so much. So you're just going to have to see how your body responds to it. But guys, if you have any questions, like I said, comment below. And always, I'm going to be here. Just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, as I said. Notification bell. I've said all those things. Boom, boom, boom. Stay mobile.